What's going on, Vinny? Peace, Vinny. How you doing, buddy? What's going on, guys? Yo, man, I, I thought about you today because uh, I had a I had a meat delivery come in, and I'm like, I wonder what the what the keto guidos are doing in a in a in a scenario like this. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you eating carbs right now? I'm actually not, and um, it's weird. I've kind of been preparing for this moment because I have a freezer full of meat because oh, I usually man. get my meat shipped to me anyway, you know? Because I, uh, I actually, uh, I, I reached out I, I reached out to you today and I said, listen, if you need some chicken color, it's like I got them frozen. So, you know, if we <laughs> get to that point, I'll save a bag just for you. I was going to say Vinny Guadagnino on it. But are you yeah, bro, gonna be like you're gonna be like smuggling chicken cutlets in your fucking jacket? I mean, bro, it, it, it's serious out here. Like, I, I don't even, I never like thought this could ever happen, but it's definitely here, and people need to be careful. You know? Are you? Uh, how are you maintaining like your workout routine and everything, being locked in for ten minutes? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of for, uh, for the time being, like, I'm just what do you say? For the time being that, you know, you're, you're oh, so yeah. isolated, correct? Yeah, there's, um, there's like a funny meme going around that like, mm -hmm. you know, people are calling it quarantining, but like, I do this shit every day anyway. <laughs> so like, I kind of, nothing really changed for me. Um, because I actually, I intermittent fast, so I don't really eat all day long anyway. So I, I actually posted on my Keto Guido page everything mm -hmm. I've been doing from morning till night. And my life is usually like that, but I've kind of become even more strict with it because I don't know, like, number one, I'm not going to the grocery store as much. To I'm not eating out as much. Mm -hmm. um, and also, like, just mentally, like, this has put me in a place where – it's kind of scaring me. So like, it's forcing me to like have discipline and mm -hmm. I'm like sticking and to a schedule and I'm, I'm having discipline. For someone like yourself that you've literally been on MTV, you're, you're a star. It, it's gotta be extremely humbling that like everything you work for now, like there's no money coming in. So, you know, how, how do you handle that? The fact that right now, you know, it, everything stopped, you know, like all business is at a complete halt. Like, I mean, look, all, all, I, all I can say is um, I'm in a fortunate, blessed position to where mm -hmm. I can hold myself over for a period of time. You know, mm -hmm. um, I am losing money. You know, if that makes anyone feel better, it probably doesn't because, you know, I do have savings. You know what I'm saying? But I am losing like money every day. Um you know, the fucking stock market, like all that shit affects me as well. But uh, mm -hmm. I'm yeah. blessed. And, and I just hope that what I keep posting is I hope that um, I don't know if it's the government or who the fuck it is, like can figure out a way that we can economically get through this and people can feed their families while we have to do this. Yeah, I know. And honestly, that's exactly what it is. Like, you know, the people that are fortunate, you know, God bless us, but people that aren't fortunate, like right now it's like meal by meal. And what what's scary for me is, you know, you know, the business I have is like to go and it, we don't really have like an abundance of groceries like that, but people are still going meal to meal. And it's like really sad because I, I see it happening in front of me. And when it comes to that point where everything like shuts down, I don't know how like a majority of people are going to survive, you know, like, it's going to be scary. Like, I really see people going in panic mode. So, like, in these yeah. next couple of days, I hope everybody, like, stocks up some food and they're ready and prepared to stay home for two weeks, well, three weeks. I actually, I, I saw something. I don't know if it's, like, encouraging or good news or not, but I, um, I was, like, trying to order food, and, like, I couldn't order. I'm on Staten Island, and, like, I couldn't really even order the food because the places were so busy with takeout. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it's not an ideal situation, but it actually made me feel, like, better that some businesses are able to, 
you know, they, they couldn't take any more orders. They were so busy because people are staying home, you know. So maybe yeah. if there's a way that that can happen. I know that every business can't do mm -hmm. that, obviously, but um, there are some opportunities there. But also, like, the way I look at it, like, I look at shit on, like, a, a grand, like, scale. And, uh, you know, it's easier said than done. But I think that we have the capability as a society, if everybody just kind of, like, let's just say everybody just went to the grocery store and got what they need, then the groceries would last for years, for a long time. But you know what I'm saying? And everyone would be fine. But the problem is nobody does that. Everyone's fending for themselves. So I don't know if we get to a point like that where, you know, if all of society did that, then we'd be chilling. There would always be shit stocked in the grocery store. What, what's scary is like, I really wish people would like, follow the same kind of thing I'm doing, but I'm not allowing customers in the store at all, whether it's two at a time, five at a time, 10 at a time. I'm just not letting anyone in at all. And I'm rolling the dice with having one person that just touches money and everyone else around is handling food and putting it in bags and passing it to the person. So there's like no cross contamination, you know? It's just, I hope like everybody that's in the food industry like is taking it very serious and we're yeah, honestly, I would get I would order from you if I knew that the place was, you know, um, mindful of what was going on and nobody was sick and every, you know, they were sanitizing and doing what you said, like taking precaution, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's exactly it. You know, I appreciate you jumping on the live, taking time out of your day, and uh, everybody. If you don't follow Vinny yet, he's <laughs> the most popular time American in the universe. So. <laughs> nah, I, I I love your guys' page. I love you guys always post like positive shit, like Italian or not, especially during this time, how bad Italy's being hit, like the awareness and um and everything. Like I and I, and I just posted your video because um well the video that you posted because you know it's so important that they're, they're ten days ahead of us and they yeah. we literally can see into the future. So hopefully us seeing into the future and all these drastic measures that we're taking, even if we don't, even if we keep seeing the numbers go up, hopefully it's making a difference, you know? Absolutely. Uh, Vin, Rock here, before you go, I just, you know, every day that goes by, I notice all these stories that you put up. Clearly it's something that's affecting you in your life and the care that you have for others. I just want to touch on like one last thing that you want to say to people, just like to make that message clear. Well, basically, um, you know, like this put everything into perspective in our life. And I realized, and it took something like this to realize that we didn't have problems before this. And when I say that, I don't mean, obviously we've all had crazy problems, but you know, they were minuscule compared to what's happening now. And I don't give a fuck what my Instagram looks like about my followers, about any of that. I have this platform and I'm telling people to fucking do the right thing with the platform. Yeah, man. And then once everything goes back to normal, I'll go back to posting fucking pictures of myself. But I got 3.5 million followers there. I wish I had 300 million followers. And I wish people with 300 million followers were telling people to wash yeah, the hands, stay inside, Yo, social distance, and, and all that honestly, shit. Honestly, salutes to you because, you know, you're a stripper by trade. I am. And I'm out of business. <laughs> And there's a lot of other girls out there that aren't strippers that are posting throwback Thursdays. Like, like we need to spread positive messages. Like we don't, you're not going to have that body most likely when this is all said and done. So like, let's push the real shit. You know what I'm saying? Bro, strip clubs are out of service right now. I'm unemployed. <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm about to start stripping on IG live. And fucking getting those tips. Yo, only put, fans put coming your, soon. Put your Venmo. Put your pin your Venmo. Yeah. And have a Yo, only up. fans coming premium. soon. Have Give premium, me chicken cutlets. I'll take you off my, my clothes. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Vinny, take care of yourself. Yo, if you need the chicken cutlets, I got them for you. All okay, right, bro. Stay safe. Take Thanks, care, guys. Bro. Have a good one. You take too. Care. Ooh. All right.